How about an old school Kaiser? Like absolutely no spin in that knife's game. <laughs> it's not it's not gonna spin at all. Hey, let's get this thing out of this box. What is it? Let's look at it. So this is a SLT. Uh basically three and a half inch John Gray design. A KI four four seven four A one S thirty five VN and titanium. I mean if if all that doesn't sound tantalizing, I don't know what does. like a description of a bone-in steak at Morton's, right? Come on, man. Oh, look at this thing, man. Yeah, and so goes my quest chasing down older Kaisers, man. Yeah, I have I have a few here still. But this one, this one's next on the rotation. Let's get our hands on it. Oh man, does that feel? So it's like bead blasted and overly finished titanium. So smooth. Wow, very nice. This pivot. I mean, we'll we'll see what we think about it. But it's basically got this big Phillips screw <laughs> right here. Interesting. I do like this side. It's odd enough. Let's get that blade out of there. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at this thing. I like that blade. S35VN. It's got the model number. And then... SLT. I'm not sure what SLT stands for. Somebody's going to know. Post it up in the comments. John Gray. Looks like we got about 40% lock up. 45 maybe. Yeah, smooth as butter. Oh my gosh. No jimping on that flipper. But it's it's arced up, but it is below or right at the pivot line, the center of pivot. I don't think I can fail this knife, and it's drop shut. Oh, man. Centered. Wow, is this thing nice. Let me try to fail it. Nah. Yeah, just smooth as glass. I wonder if that's steel. Surely it is. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. No. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Let's run a, little, a few times. Hmm. Yeah, that's fluffy like a pillow in the hand. This thing, this thing is legit. I'm thinking this big pivot is what caused this one to fade. Because, you know, a good knife, man, it'll withstand the test of time. You know, think about some of the knives that, you know, I mean, they came out and they're still going strong. They just come out with different colors on the handles every six to eight months and new resurgent of them. This thing is a dream. Wow, what a cream puff, man. All right, let's get in it. Uh, how am I going to get in that? I guess a flat blade, a flat blade screwdriver makes sense, right? Let me get one. Okay, I have a bit that I can put right in here. That I think I can get this with it. Yeah. Wasn't overly tight or anything. I mean, wow. Wowie, wowie, wow. <laughs> Look at this thing, man. 
Interesting. Everything else is TH. Pocket clips, TH. Look at the ramps on this pocket clip. Man, is that thing going to run or what? It's just mounted to the surface of this titanium, but two screws, as long as they're tight. I mean, kind of standard here. Standard racetrack, washer, steel insert. I mean, we're locking up just on this high corner, which is the way they set them up, you know. Internal stop pins, riding in the titanium. Big um, cage bearings. And that doesn't appear to want to move or come out of there. Nor that. And so I'm going to leave it. I think I can just wipe around it. Get everything tidied up. Put a fresh coat of pins oil on it. Man, I mean the fit and finish on this thing. Stunning. Yeah, just wonderful. I think I have seen a few of these for sale lately, and... Uh, so I should have something at the end about where and how much. Now, I will say that I didn't own one for a long time because I got to get my price point right. I don't have an unlimited budget. I'm not saying you do. Um, but when it comes to these and almost all the knives... Not not all of them. Some of them I splurge a little bit because it's a hot knife. And I know I can purge it out pretty quick. Um, for, if not what I paid for it, very close to what I paid for it. Just because it's a hot commodity and, you know, well-liked and, you know, somebody's going to want it. That, that is not steel. I think what the magnet, yeah, it is. Hmm. Boy, is it light though. Um, yeah, so something that's popular, that's trending, that I'm confident I can, I can purge and flip pretty quick, you know, um, I may spend a little more for it, but when it comes to these things that I know I'm going to want to keep in house, if it's nice, I'm not going to want to get rid of it. Look at this satin stone wash on this blade. Man, is that a thing of beauty. What a chunk, too. For some reason, on the knife, it doesn't appear as big. You know, and I don't mean visually, just maybe overall the feel, the, you know, handling it doesn't appear to be a huge piece. But this blade stock's massive. Yeah, it's big. Mm, 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 mm. I mean, this thing was already smooth. Like Billy D. Williams smooth. Uh, Alright, here we go. Captured pivot. I can look at it, I can, <laughs> I can hand thread that big bad dude. That is so awesome. I mean, I already know that some of y'all are, are visually, you're not feeling it. You know, for sure. This uh, big, especially this side of it, the Phillips head, you know, Red Cross looking thing. 
uh, is definitely not going to be everybody's dessert for sure. I'm not even sure how I feel about it. Jury may still be out. Got me fumbling around here. It's just such an oddity, you know. Looks very different from any of the norms. Yeah, wow. I mean... Super, super nice. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, let's talk about this action. So, that is A-level action. But, I'm not going to give it an A+. Plus, and I think the reason being is this flipper tab. It's smooth, and there's definitely the potential to fail off of this flipper tab. I mean, I probably could flip it a hundred times and not fail it once. Just staying intentional, this thing's going to open, snap open. I don't think I can fail the knife. Nah. Yeah, once it's moving, very smooth action. Drop shut. Let's talk about ergonomics. Yeah, so this thing was molded for the hand. I mean, wow, is this thing wonderful in hand. Hinder-esque uh, type confident grip. Not so confident, confident, very confident. This thing's going to swoop right up because this, this drop point and the spot behind the finger guard is so prominent that just locked in here very confidently. And... The reverse grip, just as confident because it's blocking my fingers here. Not so much this. It's not really lined up for it. Yeah, but both both front and reverse grips are stunningly confident on this knife. Really, really nice. Um, the pocket clip disappears. And speaking of it, let's see how that big bad dude runs. It's wide, flat. Very comfortable in hand. And yeah, the thick jean, the thick material runs all the way to the top. There's a fair amount of knife sticking out here. You've got uh, polished, shiny. Okay, so I don't know what happened, but the camera just shut down. But yeah, the pocket clip runs wonderfully. So let's do a safety check on it. Um, yeah, so I can touch the the corner of that blade right there just the tiniest little bit mm -hmm. what about the tip yeah no contact on the tip so um the tip's good the clip is good but there is just the smallest amount of blade contact right there am i worried that i'd cut myself on that i don't think so but i can touch it so i mean i have to say yeah there's blade contact um, yeah, wonder if it's sharp. Is this knife sharp? Piece of paper. Here we go. Come on, man. Are you sharp or aren't you? Yeah, yeah, it's that kind of wicked, crazy sharp. All right. Uh, price and availability. Where are they and what do we got to pay for one? Okay, so I, I found 
I found one source, and that's on AliExpress at one of the Kaiser stores. So there's, so there's actually, I think it's Kaiser Knives. If you go to the Kaiser Knives store, um, they have Kaiser older models. And they're showing that they have three of these in stock. And the going price is 110 bucks, which I think is a wonderful price for this knife. So there's three of them there. You can snatch them up. I don't know if anybody else is looking at them, but three of y'all can go get you one for 110 bucks from AliExpress. Yeah, this thing is so refined and wonderful. And if you do any kind of Kaiser collecting, what a snatch. And if you're looking for a great pocket knife, I mean, this thing, man, is it nice. All right, well, there it is. I appreciate you watching. It's the Kaiser SLT Full Titanium and S35VN. Appreciate y'all watching.